Welcome to our video tutorial on how to cut up a hind quarter of beef, Knutson's Meats. We're going to be showcasing this limousine Angus Cross beef that we are selling in our cowpool meat packages today. Start with some basic cuts from the hind quarter, We're looking at short loin, sirloin, and round cuts. And as our meat cutter Corey here is beginning to cut, he's getting the elephant ear piece of meat off the hind quarter. 10 times out of 10, it ends up in hamburger, but I have had customers call and ask if we had elephant ear or fly swatter meat, and that's what it is. Now Corey's gonna use his knife to kind of carve out a guide of the tri-tip roast, which he's gonna extract later. And here, Corey is using his knife skills to cut away at some of this fat and expose the backside of the flank section. The flank steak is a great steak. We sell it here at the butcher shop. We like to marinate it in our apple bourbon seasoning. You can marinate it in your favorite kind of marinade, and you can grill it, or you can put it in the oven and broil it. It's a fantastic steak. Now Corey is going to be following that flank muscle and also the bivet muscle here. The bivet is also called the flap meat. It can be used as skirt steak if you want to butterfly it, or some people enjoy smoking it or cooking it and then carving it up. Now Corey is going to be carving out very carefully the kidney fat or cod fat, also known as beef suet. And it's important to not cut into the tenderloin. He's just centimeters away from the tenderloin. He's pulling really hard, just trying to carve out that, that cod fat without cutting into the filet mignon. It gets pretty hard to do that with a beef that's this size. This is a thousand pound steer we have in for cow pooling. Now Corey is going to be carefully carving away to remove the tri-tip muscle. Right now he's cutting it away from the sirloin tip. It's called the tri-tip because it's actually a muscle that meets three other different muscles, the sirloin, the sirloin tip, and the round. Now we do sell a lot of tri-tips here at Knutson's Meats. We like to marinate them in our apple bourbon seasoning or our whiskey hollow marinade and we just got an embers char seasoning as well. All three of those are really delicious. Now we're gonna be learning about the sirloin tip muscle and Corey is gonna be using his knife to find that joint right there where the kneecap and the femur meet and we'll be carving away on each side of the femur bone and then getting out a bigger knife to follow along the femur bone itself and cut out this muscle. Now we're gonna do some more trimming on the sirloin tip muscle to kind of make it look good and get it ready to put it in the freezer where we'll freeze it to cut steaks or some people do prefer the sirloin tip as roast. There's a picture of the sirloin tip roast and then there's a sirloin tip steak. And now it should be ready. We'll trim off a little more fat and off to the freezer. Next, we're gonna be cutting along the top sirloin and the bottom of the round muscle. You'll find a joint here you have to expertly carve out with a knife. And then we'll just cut through that muscle, the sirloin tip and the round meat. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut that away, bring it over to the table to do some more trimming. This particular beef we're showcasing today is a limousine Angus cross from Buse Cattle Company. Um, it was fed a non-GMO diet, and we are dividing this half of beef into quarters and sixths if you'd like to purchase some locally grown, locally processed meat. Our website is in the link below. We're here in Pasco, Washington. So 
So Corey's trimming along here, the short loin. You can see that tenderloin muscle. It's going to be making our porterhouse steaks and a little bit of the T-bones. So Corey's cutting it very carefully on the saw, right where that bone from the sirloin and the porterhouse meet. He's going to trim up the short loin a little bit more so we have nice uniform cuts. And on this side, we have a little bit more bone to take off. Now, if you're interested in Porterhouse Steak and how it got its name, we'll have a link below on our Meat Shop Minute kind of describing where the Porterhouse got its name. And there's those T-Bone Steaks named after the T-Bone shape in it, of course. So Corey's just trimming it up a little bit. Cutting off some of that wasty fat so we can throw this primal cut of the short loin into the freezer. This will give us the T-bone steaks, and then a little farther down, we'll be getting the porterhouse steaks. Porterhouse steak has a tenderloin or filet that is 1.25 inches or more. If you want some porterhouse cooking tips, there's a link below that'll give you some tips on cooking the porterhouse with Chef Kristen. Now, there's our porterhouse side. And here's our T-bone side. Looking good, Corey. Off to the freezer. Now we're going to be cutting out the tenderloin butt roast. So this is that little strip of tenderloin that extends where the sirloin is. Corey's going to carve this out. Just follow all that bone. trimmed tenderloin but we could get some steaks out of that we could also have a roast if you like now we're going to be looking at the top sirloin of course we're trimming off a little extra chunk of meat here and i'd say this is one of the hardest parts about doing the hind quarter is getting the top sirloin so Corey's going to use his knife and follow along from the hip bone and slowly but surely make his way and try not to cut into the meat of the muscle but try to follow that bone the best he can with his knife and then eventually here, we're going to be just separating that whole top sirloin from the bone. So the top sirloin makes a great steak. We sell a lot of these at our butcher shop. We have the prime grade sirloins. So you can see a lot of butchery in the hindquarter is getting this primal cut prepped and ready to get in the freezer. Now this particular beef was not raised with any kind of growth hormones or growth stimulants because the limousine breed is a very muscular breed and when you cross it with Angus, you get those desirable yield and muscle sizes and not have to add any other stuff to it. Alrighty, off to the freezer. Now Corey is going to be trimming up the tenderloin butt roast. We can cut this into steaks for the customer. If they prefer it as a roast, we can leave it as a roast. Tenderloin is one of the most expensive cuts of meat that we sell here at Knutson's Meats. off to the freezer with the tenderloin butt. Now Corey is going to be cutting the beef round off the hind quarter. He's going to be using his knife to follow that meat all the way to the femur bone on both sides. After he's carved around the circular part of the femur bone, he's going to just follow that bone all the way down until it reaches the hip joint. Now Corey knows the shape of the bone below, so he's going to follow that until it's just hanging. Now we're going to take it on over to the table. 
So we're going to cut out this steak here, also known as the oyster steak. Usually it ends up in hamburger. And now Corey is going to be carving around the hip bone. There's three sections to the round, the top round, the bottom round, and the eye of round. So Corey has carved out the hip bone, and now he's going to be seaming out the top round section. That'll be on the left. On the right is the eye of round and the bottom round. What we generally do is we'll take the bottom round and turn it into a roast. And if the customer would like, we'll take the eye of round and turn it into cube steaks. So now we're into the top round section. Corey's going to be trimming that up. We can cut the top round into steaks if you like. We also can do London broils, which are about two inches thick, and also a top round roast if you prefer. So now off to the freezer with the top round. Are you ready for your meat pop quiz? Now for some practice. If you said porterhouse, then you guessed correctly. Yes, that was the T-bone steak. Very good, bottom round roast. The top sirloin steak, correct. The tri-tip steaks, very good. If you guessed top round steak, you were correct. Sirloin tip steak for grilling. And last but not least, the tenderloin. Thanks so much for watching this production of Knutson's Meats on learning how to cut a hind quarter of beef today. We also have cow pool meat packages available. If you want to purchase some of this steer we just showcased, check out our website below. And if you want to see more meat cutting tutorial videos, I highly recommend the front quarter video. Our website is www.knutsonsmeats.com. If you like more carnivorian content, then go ahead and subscribe below. Check out our Facebook and like it as well. And we thank you so much for watching.